The pyramids, mummies, and ancient ruins of Egypt have attracted archaeologists from around the world for centuries. Tomorrow, a group of Canadian students will travel there to search for artifacts and, for the first time ever, a drone will capture them digging through the dirt. The expedition leader is renowned Egyptologist and director of the Canadian Institute in Egypt, Antoine Hirsch. He's in studio, and it, this is a great pleasure to be able to talk to you about this. Well, Thank you. Great pleasure, too. So tell me, this is extraordinary. We're talking about antiquities, and we're talking about cutting-edge technology to well, record it. Actually, yes, in a sense, but uh, satellite photographs have been used for archaeology for uh, a long time. Uh, the only problem is that with uh, commercially available uh, satellites, you don't get a good resolution at the mm, ground level the detail. for details. So by chance, we bumped into uh, a show which is going to be produced in Nova Scotia between July the 2nd and August the 3rd, which is the history of the Bell family. And the Bell family and Graham Bell invented the telephone, but worked on the, one of the first aircraft, which is called the Silver Dart. And out of that, yeah. we got uh, the idea. This is the Silver Dart, which is going to control a square and the dig site eight meters by eight meters. And this is completely controlled by a telephone, right. which is Bell's invention. So roughly what we're planning on doing is using this little drone with a camera uh, to uh, monitor and control what is called as a dig square, which is a square eight meters by eight meters. Uh, we'll have two of them. And we'll have a third one, which in fact can fly up to two kilometers in height in order to uh, determine exactly what we are doing. So we really are working at the ground level and we are working at a higher level. Uh, the project goes first on the, the dig we have, and then if we are successful, we are going to extend that to the complete delta and all the sites in the delta, pending, of course, uh, authorization from the Egyptian authorities. You know, you talked, you mentioned getting satellite footage, which has, done in, has been done in the past, and you're, but you're gonna get better detail with this. What else do you hope to be able to get in terms of information from these drones? Uh, well, in terms of information, my specialty are measurements. And uh, Mandy's is a privileged site for that because it has got two harbors. Uh, measurements leads to mathematics and leads to mathematics which in fact um, goes back three or four thousand before the Greek concept of mathematical abstraction. Wow. So, uh, and it's linked to agriculture. So in fact, we're hoping A, to get a relationship between measurements and trade between different civilizations in the Mediterranean and then push back the history of mathematics on a very practical level by about uh, two millennia. Wow. So, so, and you're working with this Mendez site and you know, the members of the public should they be able to go there, it, it will be open to them at some point. Yes, uh, that's uh, the project coming from uh, the Egyptian authorities. Uh, Mandy's at the tallest building north of Cairo and uh, south of Alexandria, which is part of a temple complex, which is completely ruined now, but which is probably as big or bigger than the Karnak uh, complex, mm. everything being destroyed by the Persians uh, when this came back for the second invasion. Uh, and yes, they want to open that uh, to the public and basically what we are doing uh, this season is clearing up uh, what needs to be cleared up so they can work and organize, um, you know, a parking lot and things yeah, for the to public to, to get around the site. Very exciting. Antoine Hirsch, thank you and for I coming thank in. Thank you very much.